Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sorsha and today I'm going to explore the inner champion. Um, so we explored the menstrual maps in previous episodes, previous videos, and uh, one of the things that kind of cropped up from that was the inner critic and also the inner champion. Um, so I want to do a little deep dive on the inner champion today and also maybe about how you can cultivate your inner champion. Um, I feel like you need both right you need the inner critic and you need the inner champion so um, how can we cultivate the relationship with inner champion so that we can give the inner critic boundaries um so this is a little quote from kirsty morris who is a um who is a uh, someone that's also uh, like a, a red school graduate so someone that's also done training with alexandra and Shane of red school and it says and i think it was her that actually that coined the term inner champion so it says the inner champion is your ally in the first half of your cycle the via positiva and it is as it sounds the voice within you that champions who you are and what you're doing it's the voice in you that spots everything that is right about you deliberately cultivating this voice supports you to access the yes power within your cycle um and she talks about how um just like uh, kind of, she kind of describes the inner champion as unlocking your magnificence which I just love <laughs> um, and and there's kind of different ways that that can manifest so um, it might come through as impulses it might come through as things that are giving you joy um, maybe playfulness or inquisitiveness 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 that's a word um a naivety or curiosity um and she also says it is the inner champion that digs out the rough diamond of one's being and the inner critic that polishes that gem which again i just i just love this so um and she kind of she kind of explains about so in the um in the inner um in an autumn video that I filmed um that I may or may not have shared yet because I have I have recorded some of these out of well, I've recorded like most of them out of order um so in that video I do talk about the inner critic and how that can really come out in the luteal phase of the cycle the inner autumn um like premenstruum but also it can run rampant like through different parts of the cycle and that's really when we need to give it that boundary um and kind of put it back in its box because I feel like in, in autumn it's really it can be really helpful it can be a really good tool to like help us edit and just um you know finish projects off and it can also it can also serve a deeper purpose of like realizing what um what in our life still needs work and that is that could be really really challenging or what you are settling for that you really shouldn't be settling for um and we'll go into that more in the inner critic video but um yeah, it also, it also says about the inner champion can rule the space of inner spring and therefore hold that boundary so your inner critic does not run rampant during this explorative, vulnerable, inquisitive part of your cycle. So again, it's just sort of talking about how um, inner autumn, you know, the inner critic needs to it needs to stay in its own lane. And if, if we're not careful, it will ra run rampant like throughout other parts of the cycle and cultivating the inner champion can really help us to to, to stop that to have to give it boundaries and so there's a few different ways that you can cultivate your inner champion um one of them you can kind of really think about it could maybe be like an alter ego or you could think about like what your inner champion like might look like like are they like a wise sage are they like you know what what what, what are they like um how might yeah my head actually just popped up like samantha from sex in the city i love that it's like the modern day like the modern day uh inner champion um so you can think about like what what do they look like um you can give yourself little yeah short mantras or action of support um to kind of you know prompt yourself or coax yourself um to you know to to self celebrate um and you can also kind of learn slowly how to recognize your inner champion like is it in those moments of grace um is it when a bit of inner kindness or compassion kind of you know pop, pops up um and you you know allow yourself to to be compassionate to yourself um is it a sense of innocence or maybe there's some patience that you've cultivated um yeah how are you like how how does it um what does it feel like to you to have an inner champion and then I think 
something that Carly of Moon Forest Flow um, taught me when I was really, really, like, before I'd even heard of any of this, um, or certainly before I'd read Wild Power, she kind of spoke about having a queen list and I really like that. So I feel like in the inner summer, it's a really great time to kind of write down like a lot of like things that you're really proud of that you've done. Maybe it's within that cycle. Maybe it's like more ongoing, like maybe it's a bigger picture and just writing down like what you feel like you've accomplished during, especially during this, like, you know, this by this time in your cycle, so that when inner critic rears its ugly head, you know, a few days, a week later, you kind of, you're not empty handed, you know, you have this stuff of like, these are the things that I did, that I said I was going to do. And they might be like lots of small things. It might be like, at the moment I'm putting some stuff on Vinted. So it might be like, I, I finished doing that. Or it might be like, I actually filmed some videos or it might be like, I didn't hit snooze for the whole part of this, you know, for, for, for my whole cycle so far, this, this cycle round. Um, or I went to the gym or I don't know, I spent some time with my kids or I really like practice being present with my kids and not being on my phone and things. It could be like really small or really big things, but you're just making note of those um, because otherwise it's so easy to forget, you know? <laughs> and I think we remember a lot, you know, biologically our brain is like wired to remember the bad stuff, the negative stuff, more or more clearly than the positive so I think it's really important to to armor yourself with that especially if luteal phase brings a tumultuous mental health um time like it like it has for me before in my cycle so um when I was doing the menstrual leadership program there was um some really interesting activities that we did um that was to like help cultivate the inner champion um that was to kind of done with like within small groups and that was really beautiful um so you could do some you know pra practice some of those things um but something that was really popping in my mind was um from david goggins can't hurt me which <laughs> which is when he talks about the cookie jar i don't know if you've read it but um i'm really enjoying it at the moment um i've listened to him on joe rogan like over and over and over and over again and I just think he's fantastic and um he really speaks about like the cookie jar so when he was young his mum would always like make sure the cookie jar was filled up and they didn't really have you know a lot growing up and he's from a very abused um abusive like his dad was very abusive um etc etc and he talks about like really being like dipping his hand in the cookie jar and being like really excited to see what cookie he was gonna get and like you know like really looking at the cookie before he would like eat it and savor it and he speaks about like when he's doing like the ultra marathon and he's training or yeah, when he's doing like something that's really, really hard, which he's like, <laughs> like the person that's on the hardest things ever. Um, he kind of speaks about like how he like has to reach in the cookie jar to like keep, you know, keep going like another, another run around the track, um, specifically when he's like training for, to try and get into um, his first ultra marathon. Um, and he's really speaking about how like he just remembers like, and he and he doesn't just remember like the things that he's done, his achievements, like getting into like the Navy SEALs, um, like losing loads of weight in a really short amount of time to, to get to qualify to get into the Navy SEALs, um, and you know, all, all loads of this stuff. And he's he's not just remembering what he's done, he's remembering like how he felt when that happened. And that like surge, like that that him remembering that gives him like a surge of energy and um endorphins and what is the word I'm looking for uh a surge of adrenaline <laughs> and then he's able to keep going so the pain is still there because his feet are like really messed up from running and his legs are messed up and everything because he's doing like a hundred mile race with like you know or, or a hundred mile run with like you know no <laughs> with like three days like notice um and he's just like he's just digging and he's just he just keeps keeps kind of digging into the the cookie jar and and you know every time he feels like he has to stop um, I think he's like, there's a point where he's like, feels like he's done at like 40, 40 miles. Yeah, 40 miles. And then again, like 70, he's like done. And he still manages to do 100 because he just keeps digging into the cookie jar. So I just think it's really good to like think about like what is in your cookie jar? Like what, what amazing things have you done? that you can give yourself a pat on the back for and be really like proud of yourself for. And they don't have to be huge things. Um, it might be really, really small and that's also okay. But like, what things have you done? I also nickname this, um, so the How To ADHD channel talks about the wall of 
of awful where you're like really trying to like get started and it just feels like there's a massive wall and you just can't like you know that kind of ADHD paralysis and that kind of thing and I in my head kind of kind of came up with the wall of awesome where it's like you even like I don't know you could make like brick I'm just like looking at my notice board but it's like you could make like bricks you know and you could put on each brick like an awesome thing that you've done um and you could have like a wall of awesome so like that's kind of like my vision of a cookie jar you know so what have you been doing that will help you like specifically really in the last cycle but you can go like you can go further back and you can like pull on you know bigger achievements or long you know longer lasting achievements and things not so that you're always talking about like all these things that you've done but just to like draw on those experiences and then when inner critic comes knocking in in autumn or even if she rears her ugly head like in other parts of your cycle you can be like a go back to inner autumn where you belong <laughs> and b like these are all the things that I've done and just write like you know take the time to write them down on paper like pin them on your notice board um have that kind of you know have that armory like ready um yeah so I hope <laughs> I hope that was um yeah I hope that was fruitful um let me know below if you've read uh, Can't Hurt Me I just think it's an amazing book I've not finished it yet I'm really really enjoying it um and I'm kind of doing the action bits as I go as well um but it's just so good and I just think he's really really inspiring um so yeah so hopefully that was really useful i am fading fast because i'm on cycle day 22 this is my fourth video of film today and the sun is um gonna be going soon so i think i'm going to um i want to film the inner critic video tonight as well but i think i'm gonna go for a walk outside drop off a couple of these vintage things that people have bought and just get a bit of fresh air maybe have a slice of a slice a cube of dark chocolate before i go <laughs> um and then yeah and then i think um i yeah i might i might film a bit more this evening i'll see how i go but uh thank you very much for joining me today um and yeah let me know how you cultivate your inner champion um yeah and have a really great rest of your evening and i will see you uh in my next video okay